it's one in the morning and I don't really feel like sleeping right now and you know think about all this sort of you know drama and this you know bits of pressure from a lot of uh, situations and scenarios having to deal with one thing after another it really just boils down to that point where you just want to sit down for a minute and express all your problems in front of a camera now of course anyone can flip on a camera and speak and there you go. You got yourself either a blogger or you're a ranter or you basically just want to speak what you feel about it. Now, not the, not the same thing can be said about another user uh, who I'm going to mention here in a minute. But before I get into this, this certain particular user actually made a video which was over his own um, <clears throat> opinions about... The, uh, what he thought of the worst YouTube ranters that there was, but the problem with what this title was, what's, what was in the title was basically what it said as the uh, the top worst ranters. Now, let's kind of do some random math here. There's about, you could say over, I don't know, uh, 1.5 million at least, even fucking more if you even count for that much. So let's just say 1.5 million, and out of all those 1.5 million users that you could possibly actually imagine being on this site, about maybe more than eight or nine from this person kind of says that they're the worst. <laughs> okay, well, this user known as uh, Catfree and Cruella Fan, whoever this person may be, decides to make his video, and already, when you watch the video, you could not imagine anything that can be any more dull, stale, <sighs> you know, I can't really sum up the, the third word for that one. <clears throat> it makes me gag. Fills me with the urge to fucking defecate. Yes. Fucking defecate. So, let me just say this user's name one more time. Catfree and Cruella fan. If that's how you say the username. Now, when this person made this response video about what he thought about the worst YouTubers, there were a lot of things that I, I saw a little bit more offensive to this. Now, granted alone, if that's what he feels about it, I'm completely fine with what he feels about it. But a lot of issues that I really need to point out here. First problem. Now, I'm pretty sure you already mentioned me in one of your videos as the Metallica Guru, which, okay, I can go with that because I am known as the Metallica Guru in Thrash Metal Guru, whichever way you slice it. First problem with when you actually mentioned Queenie Martha, when you were mentioning her voice, and it has nothing to do with the fact of her accent, that it was just how she was actually presenting her voice. You know, what you know, her the voice was to either slow or it was it was just it was just not entertaining for you. But that still stems to the fact that that's her voice. That is how she sounds. That's basically the natural point to it. Second problem. When you mentioned some guy 827, you basically went on this tirade and said that you know he was a psychopath and that people needed to call the cops on him well if you were really going to base that on very uh a factual clause then you need to have strong evidence to prove otherwise otherwise you are making slanderous remarks on that behalf uh and by making slanderous remarks i mean did you actually have proof to back it up or actually have structured evidence in order to prove otherwise so I, I, I just don't understand this. So from all these other people that you mention, some I don't even know, like, kill whoever this guy is, I don't know. I know so little about Cult of Clusterfuck, I don't know, I can't say anything. Um, Burn Coalition, I've only seen two videos, so I can't really make any assumptions there. Uh, I'm not a fan of the three that I just mentioned. But yeah, with my own opinions, I respect the rest that there are mentioned, like Take Shot Action, Rancher and Shades, Take Sh uh, I already said Take Shot Action, Queen Martha, Cammy Bams, all that, and et cetera, et cetera. But what really, there's two things that really just kind of push this over the edge a little bit, and how you're saying that a lot of people have been harassing you over the video that you made, that, let me just actually 
read your own paragraph here. <clears throat> Update, I've deleted this, uh, the video because I can't stand all the harassment I keep receiving. The only ranters I respect are Christy Thinks, MDA, Marbles, Horror Kid, The Brain Anima, Waymo, Vlograce, and The Rant God. I don't know if El uh, Tortuga and Reaper are ranters, but I respect them too. I'm keeping this one up though. So I'm just quoting right there, that's just the paragraph. Okay. You're telling me, right now, that people who are, who are harassing you for a video that you made, because you're getting called out on something, you're basically getting criticized. I can understand that when you make a video, you actually have free speech. But that does not mean that you can hide behind it and say that people are fucking harassing you. They're <laughs> it's basically criticism. For God's sakes, I mean... If you could compare the dislike ratio to a lot of people things, uh, I'm sorry, my wording is off, to a lot of things that a lot of people think about you, and then you take that video down, what is that going to say about you? That is what we call hypocrisy, where you're saying that because your first amendment is what you mentioned there, and then people criticize you over it, and you take that video down because you don't like what those people are saying, tells me, or tells the audience, that you are being hypocritical about it. Or in other words, in, in, in a short fucking sentence to say, you are a hypocrite for saying that. But to look at all of this, and I know for a fact that I always tell people that my content is pretty bad, but you? Holy fucking shit. I bet me drinking a fucking bottle of water is more entertaining than listening to your sorry ass. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, wait. I'm not sorry. But I want to get one more thing down uh, very straight about this, because this actually kind of offended me more, and I know you're probably going to be raising a little question or actually kind of scratching your head at this a little bit. But when you actually mentioned Ranter and Shades... Uh, about him trying to be neutral because he's scared about, you know, offending people and all this. This kind of really took offense to me because Ranter and Shades and I are actually very similar. Uh, I know Ranter and Shades might actually have some people who I know that don't like him as well. I mean, every basically a lot of people on this on this list are people that he mentioned. So Ranter and Shades and I are actually kind of similar in that event because we are both neutral people. Hell, if you do not believe me, you can even ask Skull Ripper for yourself that he himself says that I am the definition of neutral. That's how I take offense to this part right here. Because let's take this as an example. Ranter and Shades being neutral as compared to me being also neutral as well. If we could take two YouTubers who have feuds with each other, and I would like to remain neutral out of it because I do not like to side with one and lose the other, or be pressured in between, that is why I remain neutral in that. I would be upset and pissed if I was pressured into choosing one side and losing another. I hate when that happens. Now, of course, when Ranter and Shades feel something about this, he would probably, most likely, if not, do the same thing that I would. So that's basically why I took offense more to that part right there than to the two things about you making the slanderous remarks about some guy 27 and then talking about Queen Martha's voice. Now, being that the, that's your own opinions, but in my own opinions, I don't think you did a very good job backing that up, which makes it sound very biased, by the way. Also, from the part from making the slanderous remarks about some guy 27 I mean... <laughs> Who's he stalking? Onision? I mean, come on. You're talking about a controversial figure, which, if that's the case, if, he, if you're claiming that he's stalking Onision, if that's ever the case, you gotta look at that from another perspective, at least. Or look at it from a different side. It, that's just kind of what I, you know, advise, or at least kind of recommend before making those claims. Oh my gosh. But... To really call the whole entire, like the majority of ranting community just stupid as hell and, and to basically lump together people in a certain amount of videos. And I forgot to mention Jesus Chris was also in that. I mean, I've seen a lot of his videos and he's, in my opinion, not a, and that's just my opinion, but like I said, but still.
I just don't see how this was in any way... I, I, can't, I can't mention any more words to describe this, because this is, I'm sorry, this is pitiful and pathetic. I'm sorry. Excuse me one minute. I'm not sorry. And I just got some water on my pants. Wow. But anyways, what else could I say? Just looking at the two other videos and then making the response to UTF, by the way, was just enough to make me want to puke my fucking guts out. I feel confident enough to say that I could do a better job than this ass wipe. Seriously. I know my shit's bad, but I didn't know for a fucking fact I can do better than this. Holy shit. I, I'm, I'm glad I have certain confidence to fucking say that because... <laughs> oh gosh, I always put myself on the lower end of the fucking totem pole there. <sighs> so to... Cat Free and Cruel fan, wake the fuck up, dude. Stop being a hypocrite. Stop being a little crybaby about it. And deal with it. You got called out. You got criticized. Don't take everything that you see on there very seriously as harassment. There's... I don't know. And... Like I said, taking the video down kind of proves a little bit of a hypocrisy right there. So, nothing more to say. Good night.